Uh, this anonymous questioner tells us uh, that he was diagnosed with Gleason 6, so prostate cancer, that's Gleason 3 plus 3 equals 6. So this is all low risk prostate cancer. When we see that, um, which is great, I already said, those of you um, recording this will be able to say that uh, nobody, I said, nobody dies of Gleason 6, Gleason 6 never spreads. Those statements I believe to be true. Uh, the trouble is that often, for the reasons again I said earlier, um, people with Gleason 6 might have some more aggressive disease elsewhere in the prostate. But let's, let's, let's read on. So I was diagnosed with Gleason 6 cancer in two of 24 cores 20 months ago. So what we're hearing there is that only two of the needle deployments of 24, which is a lot, 12 on the left, 12 on the right, uh, that's a lot of needle deployments, um, contained low-risk prostate cancer. This looks favorable. Um, if you biopsy men you, you, you know, of a certain age, you, you are going to find low-volume Gleason 3 plus 3. Um, uh, I usually ignore it when it's found as long as the patient has been very well um, assessed uh, using PSA, MRI, and biopsy if biopsy is being done. So let's, let's learn a little bit more about this individual. So the, the PSA ranged from 6, from 5.1 to 5.9 in 2022, and then 6.1 in 2023. That's quite a jump. We would normally expect PSA to rise by 0 0.2 micrograms per litre per year. So if you watch a group of men age, on average, uh, the PSA will go up at that very slow rate. So it'll go up one point over five years on average. Everybody will be slightly different, but if you, that's the average rate. This is, this is a PSA rise that we would see in five years happening in one year. So this is a significant rise. It can still be due to random variability and it might not be prostate cancer related, uh, but it's a significant rise. And here's the question. Would your advice to be to wait and watch or to have preemptive intervention. Um, I am in my early 60s. So uh, if this were me, I would want to be sure that the Gleason 3 plus 3 equals 6 was all I had. And I would be very, very comfortable if my MRI showed a normal picture, Pyrads 1 and 2, green. Um, and if I, I would be very happy to live with small amounts of Gleason 3 plus 3 if my MRI were normal. Um, now the PSA uh, I think will probably relate to the prostate volume. I would, sus my suspicion is uh, that this individual has probably got a large prostate, 50 or 60 cc's. The PSA density is normal. So if we divide the PSA by the prostate volume we get 0 0.1. And that, and that the Gleason 3 plus 3 is a chance random finding. Uh, but he does need to have a high quality uh, normal MRI uh, which confers low PSA density to get there. Now we can flip this round to today. So um, if this individual had a 50cc prostate and the PSA was between 5 and 6, which it is, and the MRI was negative, I wouldn't do a biopsy. And so um, I wouldn't know about the Gleason 3 plus 3 because I, I don't think it matters. Um, and this individual would not have the burden of a cancer diagnosis and the worry that he's clearly expressing. Uh, and we can do that because we, we know what a negative MRI means today. And, and what we're trying to do is when it's safe to try and reduce the incidence of this low risk prostate cancer, uh, which we believe to have no or very, very little clinical relevance over a lifetime. So um, I don't know your name, but um, thank you very much for that question. And thank you very much for sharing uh, your, your own personal perspective. I, I do hope this works out for you. Um, as again, my reading of this is that you're probably pretty safe, but just make sure uh, you get that high quality MRI and make sure that it's completely normal. Uh, so thank you for that.